Your Excellency, we're here this afternoon um, to talk to you about who we are at the Uganda Bankers Association, industry overview, um, what the Bankers Association does, and our contribution uh, to the wider economy. Uh, Your Excellency, we would also like um, to showcase the contribution we make um, to the socio-economic contribution of this country, uh, share with you some of the initiatives that we have come up with. Um, the Uganda Bankers Association is the umbrella body um, that uh, is made up of 36 financial institutions, mostly regulated by the Bank of Uganda. Uh, it is um, made up of three development banks, um, East Africa Development Bank, Uganda Development Bank, and Afriexim Bank. We're also comprised of 24 commercial banks and uh, nine microfinance institutions. With Uganda Revenue Authority, we have invested heavily in IT systems to enable collection of taxes 24 hours a day, and we continue to invest in that particular area. The banking sector alone uh, contributes about 24% across the various services, uh, some, many of which are not profit related. They relate to transactions that we undertake and support our customers. Have stepped up the mobilization of domestic revenue to ensure that our capacity to get resources, our own resources to finance the budget is enhanced. So we are supporting the institutions that collect the revenue, principally URA, to implement our domestic revenue mobilization strategy and it has started to yield the results, Your Excellency. Despite the challenges we are having now, with the economy being hit by a number of shocks. We are, I'm glad that you seem to be seeing, uh, to, uh, once you talk of uh, supporting agriculture, supporting manufacturing, supporting exports, uh, then I think we are beginning to be more aligned with you. The pockets of the Africans, we are mainly supporting foreign industries. If you go, if you want to see this, you go and, 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 and get the, the import list from URA, you will see. The, the, the African elite have betrayed Africa. So, and because of that, of course, the purchasing power doesn't grow. Because the hemorrhage, the hemorrhage is so big, so much. It, okay, there is some purchasing power, but it doesn't grow because much of it is flowing out.